Hello everyone. Today we're going to be looking at KVART. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So we're going to be looking at KVART and cave paintings today. Uh, they're really cool and really um, detailed and uh, really tell a cool story from uh, our, our ancient past. So let's go ahead and start off with uh, a little video here. Woolly mammoths, step bison, and other large mammals once roamed alongside people across Eurasia. Tens of thousands of years later, we may have a glimpse into this Ice Age world through the cave art left behind by early humans. Around 400 art-filled caves and shelters, predominantly located in France and Spain, have been discovered so far. Some of the most elaborate prehistoric artwork exists in caves in France, known as Lascaux Grotto and Chauvet Pont d'Arc. Cave art dates as far back as 65,000 years ago to the time of the Neanderthals. Though, Radiocarbon dating and other methods have revealed most art to be less than 40,000 years old and created by Homo sapiens. The majority of cave art depicts animals that humans would have encountered or hunted during the Ice Age, such as mammoths, horses, lions, aurochs, and deer. Some human figures and other symbols have also been discovered. Cave paintings were mostly created with red or black pigments made from rocks. Some artworks were painted directly onto cave walls, while some were first engraved into the stone with tools. Occasionally, the artists would follow the natural contours of the stone walls to accentuate an animal's features. Ever since the late 1800s, people have debated the meaning and purpose of cave art. Some scholars think cave paintings were created by shamans who would go deep into caves and enter a trance-like state, drawing animals they encountered in the spirit world. Symbols repeated across artworks may indicate that those symbols had agreed upon meanings among the artists. Thus, perhaps cave art also represents the earliest form of graphic communication. In reality, cave art may have been created for a variety of reasons. While we may never know with absolute certainty why cave art was made or the meaning behind individual paintings, these works give us insight into the evolving minds of our prehistoric ancestors and the world in which they lived. By one view, cave artists were prehistoric naturalists. Their detailed drawings may teach us about the appearance and behavior of animals that have long been extinct. But perhaps more significant, a part of our never-ending quest to find out who we are and where we came from, cave art may provide evidence of a time when humans were first able to etch their thoughts in stone. So really cool. So let's take a look at some of this stuff. Um, so cave art here, uh, let's move me over here. The homo, uh, the homo species, the homo sapien used tools around 120 and 100,000 years ago. Human beings started creating cave paintings and sculpture figures around 17,000 years ago. The cave paintings discovered in the Chavot cave demonstrated great skill in painting. Human beings' ability to create images showed our earliest signs of the formation of culture, including religious, social, and political beliefs. So where we're gonna be looking here today is Northern Spain, on this map, it shows about uh, five ca uh, caves of cave art, one, two, three, four, five. Really, there's a lot more, but the other ones are kind of minor cave art, and there's not a ton of uh, kind of stuff to see there. So they, they aren't these major cave art areas. Now, looking here at this horse, um, we can see quite a bit of detail. They really took their time. And um, if, if we're looking at this, you can see that the lines here, they did a border for it. They have given it different colors. They gave it different shading. It looks like the horse is running. It's put into the, into the rock here. Very well done. And we're going to take a tour a little bit later today of, a, of the cave. And hopefully you'll be able to see this. I don't know if you were looking out for it, but in our video that we just watched, you actually could see that this, this was a, uh, a feature there. 
Now I want you to look at this detail, this beautiful, beautiful detail of this cave art. Um, four horses here running, okay? We have the four horses here running. Each one, different expression on their face. Each one, beautiful detail. They are running next to each other. We can see that this one is the closest to us while the other ones are further back. Look at the look at the jaw structure. Look at the bones. Look at the look at the muscles. Uh, beautiful, beautiful creatures. Beautiful art here, and just the time and dedication it took to make these things. We also have a rhino here below. Um, now this was made in in France. Rhinos are not there today, uh, so maybe this is a good glimpse into hey, this was a time where uh, they, they, got, um, they got a portion of, of, of animals that have gone extinct and, and we can use this as history. So it is, it is pretty cool that this cave art is even helping us. Um, they don't have Wi-Fi, they don't have internet, they don't have cell phones back then. So if they saw an animal and they painted it on here, it was probably in that area or ones that they have seen in their travels. So most of the cave art shows animals. It is unknown why there are so many animals represented in the cave art. Some scientists believe it is because the art is supposed to show the animals that are around the area of the cave. Other scientists believe that is religious purposes and that people were worshiping them. Um, and it will remain unclear, but what is clear is the amount of detail used in the animals. So we saw this detail in this animal, this incredible, incredible detail. What I want you to notice now, or maybe see if there's anything different with how the humans look like. So here we are, here are the humans. Um, I could not do this, I could not do this, but um, I'm thinking I could maybe be able to do this. The humans, I don't know if you can tell, but drawn with a lot less details, no face, no really describable feature. Really the only thing that is different about them is how tall and maybe how wide they are. Uh, but mostly the people are just basically a lot of stick figures. So humans did not take center stage. They were often drawn as stick figures lacking details. Uh, we know that the people of this time had the talent to make incredible art because we saw that with the animals, but they are, but the humans are just lacking those details. The main idea is that humans were just not as important as the animals. The animals gave meat, tools, shelter, uh, fur, clothing, all of these things. They really needed the animals to survive. Humans, they just collected them. Another thought is that it's meant that humans were just becoming aware of themselves and how they fit in the world, a totally different view than today that humans saw themselves as kind of lower than the animals, that the animals were more important, that the animals, without the animals, there were, they, we couldn't survive. Um, and just thinking about that is, is totally different than we see now. Humans put themselves at the top and we, we have kind of not, or well, we have kind of lost our respect for nature, haven't we? Um, so this is very, very cool that, that it's, it's this way. Here's another very interesting uh, cave art here. It's uh, all, all the handprints here, these symbols. Um, we don't know why exactly they have put them up here, but what we do know is if we look at this one here with the fingers really stretched out, and then other ones over here, uh, right hands, left hands, that these are a bunch of different people that have uh, come down into this cave and done this. Um, first off, let's talk about just getting into that cave, right? It's dark. It's, it could be cold, it could be wet, it could be slippery, it could be definitely dangerous. That these, that these uh, handprints are high up on the cave, that they are not just low, okay? They're not all just down here, but they are actually high up. So what do you need to get up high up there? You need a, a ladder. If you looked at that video when we started um, the cave painting, you saw that a guy was standing on a tree where they had cut the branches off and he was using a primitive ladder to paint. They were actually found those materials in the bottom of the cave at these places. A lot of work goes into bringing the things down that they are going to need to create cave art. You're going to need a torch to see it. You're going to need the painting materials. You're going to need to make those painting materials. You're going to need a ladder. You're going to need water. You're going to need food. Okay. And 
it's not easy. We're gonna take a tour of this cave and you're gonna see that it is treacherous, that the, the trail there is not easy to do, especially without a flashlight or anything like that. So it's pretty interesting here with this cave art because it starts to tell us a story that humans are now able to make art, to express themselves, to create these things, right? Um, so once again, we'll never know the true meaning of the handprints. Many believe it was a coming of age tradition that maybe you reached a certain age, you had to go in the cave and put your handprint uh, and, and put it on the cave wall. Other believe that it was all at one time, which is, I think that's a little trickier because you can see like right here, like one handprints down and the other one's above that. So they probably needed to dry at different times. Um, we don't know, but what we do know is a large group had come in and placed it there intentionally. For a group that was fully dependent on hunting and gathering, cave art shows a shift away from that. If people could spend time doing cave art, it meant they had enough food to survive, a starting shift away from hunter-gatherers. So it's called this division of labor that, you know, today, how many, how many of you are uh, who have parents or aspire to grow up to be a farmer, okay? I'm guessing we are located in Charlotte here, so probably not a lot of us. Um, but we all have food and we're all, we all have access to food by going to the store. Uh, we trade our money for our food. Like me, I'm a teacher. My job is to teach you guys and uh, I, I get money for that and I go buy food, right? So there is this division of labor. We don't all need to be um, farming and making food now so we can go ahead and jump off and go to different jobs, which is interesting. And so this is the first time that I think that people decided that we don't need food, that this guy here that is painting um, can, can do that as a full-time job. You don't think that you could go down into a cave and create something that's the first time you do it. No, you need to have practice and detail. Um, so this is really, truly incredible. Um, it's moving away from that time where if everybody needs food and food is always on the mind, you don't have time for cave art. But when food starts being okay and we have a reliable source, then maybe we can go ahead and send people to do other things. Cave art, make baskets, make tools, make all these different things, okay? So we're gonna take a little tour of this. It's pretty cool. Um, even if everything today was all up and running and everything's good, um, we could not go into this, this, this cave. They let, uh, when they discovered it, they let people tour the cave for a few years. And just by, just by kicking dirt, by breathing, people were touching the caves and all the people coming in, the, the cave art started to deteriorate and, and become destroyed very quickly. So uh, they close it off only to archeologists and they have to wear special suits and they only can be in there for a certain amount of time. So, this is, this is, you know, they have to plan it years in advance. So this is about the best we can get is we can take a little tour. Uh, as we're taking this tour, uh, take a look at where everything is painted, how deep this cave goes. And just think about having to drag that log, uh, a torch, all the materials to paint in there with you. So let's jump in, let's take this tour together.
So I think that's very cool. You get to take a chance to take a tour through there and, and really look and see what the cave art would have been like. Um, so what I'd like you to do is make sure that you go to Canvas, check your courses, make sure you're keeping up with your assignments. Um, and I hope that everybody learned something new about something old. All right, have a good day.